Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Ever since I uploaded my how I saved $20,000 in a year video, my most commonly asked question is how I am currently able to put so much money away. This caused me to take a harder look at my finances here in 2017 and today I want to share with you how I am currently able to save over 60% of my income. Number one are auto payments. I talked about this briefly in the video about saving 20 grand and I said that I always tax myself 10% everything coming into my bank account. And that means any form of income, my day job, my teaching and tutoring, any miscellaneous hustles that I pull in, the second that comes into my possession, 10% of it goes right off the top and thrown into my savings account. This helps me contribute to my savings before I even realize what money I have to spend leisurely. The second thing I'm doing this year is I am stashing away any surprise income. If the last minute project, side hustle, job comes my way and I have not already budgeted that money into this month's income, I actually just stash it into my savings account before I even realize that it's there and I can spend it. It's kind of like, you know, out of sight, out of mind. Number three is dump overages into savings. For example, if I set aside $200 for groceries and I only spend $150 in the month, that extra $50 gets stashed away in my savings account. Number four is a big one and has been for a long time, and that is to utilize savings anywhere you go. If you get gas perks at a certain gas station, go there. If you are able to double your coupons at a certain grocery store, go there. If you're able to buy your clothes secondhand and you know avoid the retail shops, go there and do that. Top three things I even wrote in this category of how I saved were coupons, reward points, clearance items. And I'm not a hoarder, but if I find something that I'm going to use, like Swap Shampoo, if I find it somewhere where I can use a coupon and get it for 25 cents or less, I will stock up on that item and keep it in my closet because I know I'm going to use it in the future. And number five is a big one, and a lot of people have trouble with this, but it is to alter your way of living. Now, I know everyone's life situation is different, but consider the following. Do you need gourmet coffee? every day. Is living alone in that high-rise apartment keeping you from putting a nice down payment on your dream home? Is eating out at restaurants all the time cutting into your budget? And calories. But for real. And do you really need and or use all those monthly subscriptions, gym, books, magazine, food delivery service? Side note, if you're still subscribing to magazines, I hate to break it to you, but you're paying for that magazine twice because you've already paid for it in the form of your taxes, in the form of a library. These small changes you make, whether it's packing your lunch every day, only getting coffee once a week, or cutting down on your monthly subscriptions, that money is money that you can set aside and throw into your savings every single month. But anyway, those are five ways that I'm able to save and put away 60% of my monthly income. If you are also in a good financial situation and you wanna share how you are able to save so much money that you have coming in, please leave a comment down below in the comment section. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, click the little red subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I will see you later.